devil is like the roaring lion going to and fro and looking for whom to devour. The devil there is the storm. We have the lion that is the lion of the tribe of Judah that when he roars, the head will quiver. So for you to know that the roaring lion of the devil is counterfeited so it does not last long. If it lasts long, Jesus Christ would not be in that boat and he was walking up and he said, why are you troubled? Why are you worried? When I told you that on this earth there will be tribulation, but I've already conquered for you. I have defeated the wise of the devil for you. You don't need to panic. Don't look at that problem in your life as a mountain. That there is no solution. In every problem, there is a way of escape. There is a solution. The Lord will calm every storm of life that is strengthening you in the name of Jesus. Let's get into the message as it's already. Your storms this morning, they are going to bow before you in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ did it. He will do it again in your life. You see, from where we read from, we saw the power that Jesus Christ demonstrated. Even when the, uh, the, 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 the disciples that were, that were with him were so, so afraid, but he demonstrated to them that fear is a torment. Good news this morning that every atom of fear in you kill them this morning in Jesus' name. That is the same old trick of the devil, he has not changed. When you are passing through one tribulation or the other, it comes with fear. You begin to put it in the breastplate of your heart that this is going to happen, that is going to happen. But I've come to give you good news today because Jesus Christ has come that storm storm that is not of God in your life the Lord will come them this morning in the name of Jesus the book of John chapter 16 verse 33 the Bible has this to say so these things I have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace in the world ye we have tribulation the day of good cheer I have made you an overcomer is that one not a word of assurance? Praise Master Jesus. The Lord is telling you this morning that I have told you before that because you are on this earth, Satan is the God of this earth. But we thank God that grace is at work because this is the dispensation of grace. Praise Master Jesus. He said, I've told you before, Matthew 16, 33, that in this world, there are a lot of worries, there are a lot of problems. But even in it, it's a be of good share. Be happy. Do not bother. Do not worry. Even when tribulation comes, they will pass and go because what I have what overcame for you. And that is where we saw in the text, in the book of Mark 4, verse 39, how he calmed the storm and the storm was still. Because you are here this morning. Whatever that is a burden in your heart, the Lord will lift them up this morning. In the name of Jesus. In every day and spare of life, we face different challenges and problems. Senseless challenges that we think there will be no end. And these challenges are challenges that come to cause ruin to our being. They come to give us problems. That you see that what you have planned, all your dreams and aspirations, they are not coming to pass. All these are from the wise of the devil. Because Jesus Christ said the storm is over and is the reason for this season. Everything we seize in your life in Jesus' name. I said everything we seize in your life in Jesus' name. For this reason, you should know that life without Christ is full of crisis. Because the book of John just told us that in the world we are going to face what? Tribulation. Tribulation are crises that you face. Tribulation and sickness. Storms are challenges of life. Storms are that thing that trouble you, that make you to have sleepless night. Because Jesus Christ has come that wind. That storm connotes the trouble and the want of life that is oppressing you. Jesus Christ has come that storm. And that storm will never rise again in your life in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Now you will imagine what is a storm. 
A storm is an atmosphere that is violent. And that can cause what? Bitterness in your life. Storm also connotes what? Bustrous wind. This kind of wind. Have you seen some kind of wind that will blow? There is no way you can stand that wind. Because if you don't run away, that wind can lift you up and throw you down. Praise Master Jesus. These are the kind of storm that Jesus Christ is talking about. So if we explain it in the physical sphere, we're going to look, look at it in the spiritual aspect of it. What does this storm connote? Storm connotes sicknesses. Storm connotes financial incapability. Storm connotes hunger. Storm connotes untimely death. Storm connotes every evil that devil has orchestrated to torment you. That is what storm connotes. But Jesus Christ is telling us here this morning that that storm will come. That you will not be swallowed by that storm in Jesus' name. That storm will come as a fight. That storm will come as a torment. But there is no way because Jesus Christ has overcame for you. He has already made you an overcomer. I decree into your lives this morning. As many that are here, the Lord will come every storm of life that is strengthening you in the name of Jesus. I want you to know that storms comes once or twice in one's life. Storm does not just come and stay. Do you know why? They are counterfeited. The Bible said that devil is like the roaring lion going to and fro and looking for whom to devour. The devour there is the storm. Praise Master Jesus. There is the storm. Praise Master Jesus. Like a what? Roar. Hallelujah. We have the lion that is the lion of the tribe of Judah that when he roars, the head will quiver. The head will be shaken. When the lion of the tribe of Judah that roars. The counterfeit lion cannot stand. Am I speaking to the people of God? So for you to know that the roaring lion of the devil is counterfeited so it does not last long. Praise Mr. Jesus. If it lasts long, Jesus Christ will not be in that boat and he was walking up and he said, why are you troubled? Why are you worried? I have not told you that on this earth there will be tribulation. But I've already conquered for you. I have defeated the wise of the devil for you. You don't need to panic. The disciples of Jesus Christ was they were so sure afraid. How can you have the master in your boat and you are thinking your boat will capsize? It's not possible. Tell somebody my boat will never capsize. My ship of life will never sink. They were troubling Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was taking a very good after a hard work. Let me have my time to rest. Mark chapter 4 verse 35 to 41. So immediately thank God when Jesus Christ told them let us pass on to the other side they followed him. He was resting and they came to, ah, master what baffled me there in that scripture is the wind came so hard that even the ship that Jesus Christ was was filled up with what water. Water cannot issues and trouble of life. When water enters into a place and you see that there's a volume, that water can sink everybody. But the master was in the boat. The master was there. And they were waking him up. Master, master, carry down that we perish. Jesus Christ did not say a word. Because he knew who the devil, that the devil has been a liar, even right from what? The beginning. In the name of Jesus. That was why Jesus Christ was telling them. Why are you, why are you bothered? 
Why are you troubled? And he went there immediately. He, he, he decreed and said, Storm, be still. I decree into your life. Every storm of life, every troubler of your destiny, anyone that said every good dreams of yours will not come to pass and you are seeing that every day you are counting you are counting and you are telling god when will this thing come to pass i pray for you today today marks the end of that storm in the name of jesus and the storm was still there was no more fear there was no more panic praise master jesus I don't know what the problem is. The problem of man is not because we don't read the scripture. It's that we read the scripture. We don't seem to believe what the scripture is telling us. That is why Jesus Christ was telling them in the book of John 16, 33. Have I not told you before? I've told you already, you know. So why are you troubling me, O men of little faith? The disciples are not even supposed to go and wake up the master. Praise the Lord. They are supposed to rise and wake up in the place of prayer and begin to decree. Problems come and problems go. Don't look at that problem in your life as a mountain. That there is no solution. In every problem there is a way of escape. There is a solution. I pray for you this morning. Whatever that storm is. Whatever that problem is. The Lord calm them down for you this morning in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord calm it down for you in the name of Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. I want you to know that when storm comes, at times storms are what? For your lifting. Sometimes storm comes for what? For your what? Lifting. Please let somebody read for me the book of Matthew 8 verse 24. Quickly. I have it here, but I want somebody to read from the con congregation. Matthew 8, verse 24. Praise God. Matthew, chapter 8, verse Praise Master Jesus. In the midst of every storm, there is always a way of escape. There is no problem you are passing through in life that God has not made a way for you. There is no situation you are passing through now that God is not aware of. Don't allow Satan to bamboozle and begin to torment your life every day. Everything that God has said concerning your life is yea and amen. If he says, I'm going to bless you, he will bless you. The Bible said, though it may tarry, but it will surely come to pass. God does not need your understanding. God does not need anything from you than to believe all his promises concerning your life. When I was reading the scripture this morning and I said, if Jesus Christ was not in the boat, what would be the situation of the disciples? Would they have drowned? Would they have been taken away by the storm? The place of prayer can never be overlooked in the journey of life. Am I speaking to the children of God? The place of prayer if you don't pray, something happened yesterday. Something terrible happened yesterday. And immediately, Papa said, I am not around. Immediately, begin to raise prayer altars. And prayer altars were raised in different locations. And Daddy too was praying abroad. None of us have slept till now. But because this is a covenant program, we need to be here. Praise God. Because we pray throughout the night. My daughter looked at me this morning. Is anybody that said prayer does not work? That person 
He's as good as a dead person. Anyone that does not pray, it does not matter. Whether you don't speak in tongues, it does not matter. If you can pray in your dialect, pray. God understands every language. If we have not prayed this morning, I don't know, it would have been another story. So I was thinking if Jesus Christ was not in the boat, what would have happened to those disciples? Wouldn't they stand up and begin to pray? That is how some of us in the journey of life, we are entangled in problems for us to stand up and pray. You begin to say your enemy. That enemy that wants to kill you does not sleep in the night. Praise the Lord. Why did the enemy brought the wind in the day? Why did, why did he release the wind in the night? Because the night is full of evil. The night is when the time where evil things are hatched. The time is a time where the evil ones conclude the destiny and the matter of innocent children of God. So if you cannot pray, oh, the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. So if Jesus Christ has not stood up to pray for that sheep, they would have drowned. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. That every spirit of prayerlessness. Every that is where you are not to pray. The Bible said when they slept, the enemy came. They came to say, Pass. Any problem that is suppressing your spirit man not to pray. In the name of Jesus, they are destroyed this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. If Jesus Christ has not rescued the situation, they would have been dead. Because the ship, water has started entering the ship. And when I read, he said, the ship was full. And I asked the Holy Spirit, full of it with water. So it means that we are at the verge of sinking. It's not all the time you wait and say, I must get. So I will say, if I get to church, that's when I will pray. Some, they open this Bible once in a year. It is when they want to come to church on Sunday, that is when the Bible is open. Arrow. Tell somebody, arrow. Praise the Lord. If it's just a verse. If you cannot finish a chapter, just a verse you take, there will be a remedy for you. I pray for you this morning. In the name of Jesus. That storm of life that is threatening you, the Lord put a stop to it. In the name of Jesus. I say the Lord put a stop to it. In the name of Jesus. I want you to know that there will be storm always. There will always be storm. And I'm summarizing, there will always be storm. But remember that Jesus Christ has paid the price on the cross of Calvary for you. The reason for this season. Why do you think that the reason for this season is jubilating? Because somebody somewhere has paid the price. He has overcame for you. And we saw that in the book of John. I said you will face but I have already done these things for you. Let me tell you, if Christians know they are right, they walk in that laid down authority. They walk in that laid down authority you, Satan. For Jesus Christ has paid the price in the cross of Calvary. He said it is what? Finished. Therefore, I have not come in my name. I have come in the name that is above all name. Now that the mentioning of the name Jesus, every name bow. Listen, I command you, get out. He understands the scripture more than you and me. Praise the Lord. He knows the carrier of the authority. He knows he's just a counterfeit. So you don't just sit. You are just there. Who will help me? Will be, oh. Do you know at times there are some storms in the night? There's some oppression that comes in the night. It's only you will be in that room facing that thing. Praise the Lord. Have you been in a situation where you begin to hear voices? Eh? You walk around your apartment. Nobody is there. Or at times you begin to hear your window slamming. You... And you begin to hear 
begin to hear slamming at your window. Or you just say, let me close your eyes. You begin to see terrorists. They are troubling you. They want to inflict you in the dream. Or they want to feed you. Or they want to have carnal knowledge with you. Some people are still there. I don't understand. I don't know how it happened. You will know how it happened. Praise the Lord. At that time, you cannot reach your pastor. At that time, you cannot reach your daddy or your mommy. Gio. What are you supposed to do? Pray. Let me tell you, there are different modes of prayer. It's not just you must stand before you begin. In that your bed, open your fire. Open your fire. Begin to release words. Evangelist, you say, Reketo Soko Bragodo Shayagadabora. La Badus Katayaba. Librande Kotorubayaba. That is the language that the devil did not understand. Because why? As you are speaking, the Lord God is getting his interpretation and is working on your behalf. And if you cannot speak in tongues, open your mouth to pray. And when you command those foul spirits, you will see them, they will vanish in the name of Jesus. So please, when tribulation comes, know that God has already made you an overcomer. In conclusion, James chapter 8 verse 1. James chapter 8 verse 1. The Bible asks this to say. So the double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Some Christians are so double-minded. They don't believe anything. Even when they pray on their own, they are still doubting. Is this prayer going to work? That is what... The Bible is telling us this morning, James 1, James 8, verse 1. Say the double minded man, if you are that one that your heart begins to wobble, here, Pastor preaches this today, you say, Is it going to work? They pray for you, either. Faith is the currency without faith. That is why Jesus Christ asked them. He said, Oh, men of little faith. Oh, men of little faith. How many times have I told you why are you are afraid that I have overcame for you? Why must you come and disturb my peace? Praise Master Jesus. So when that man is unstable, that man is not believing God. That man is not knowing what God has said concerning him. You are in trouble. Because the devil will torment you. The devil will bombard you and make life miserable for you. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. That any way that the devil has made life miserable for you. That whatever you touch it with your hand does not prosper. That whatever you lay your hands on, there is no progress. This morning, I cancel them this morning in the name of Jesus. I said I cancel them this morning in the name of Jesus. You will triumph. You will make it in life. In the name of Jesus. Everything that the devil has stolen from you, the Lord will replace for you. In the name of Jesus. I said the Lord will replace for you. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will replace for you. In the name of Jesus. If I take the conclusion. Begin to thank God for our feet. Let's rise to our feet. You will say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. Blood of Jesus fertilize my destiny and move me forward in the name of Jesus. If you look at what wanted to happen to them, they want the, the devil wanted to stalk them in the sea. Say, blood of Jesus. Say, blood of Jesus. Fertilize my destiny fertilize and move me forward. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Fertilize my destiny and move me forward with the blood of Jesus. Say, blood of Jesus. Fertilize my destiny and move me forward with the blood of Jesus. Say, blood of Jesus. Say, blood of Jesus. Say, blood of Jesus. Fertilize my destiny and move me forward with the blood of Jesus. Say, my destiny. My destiny. Receive total freedom. Put your mouth and begin to pray. If you see, they will want to shut their destiny. They wanted to drown them on the Red Sea. You say my destiny receive total freedom to be liberated from problems. In the name of Jesus. Every problem in my life expires. My destiny receive total freedom and be liberated from air.
total freedom being liberated from all of problem invite you to our eighth year anniversary of the latter power Pentecostal assembly this time is going to be a powerful program it's a program that you will see the hand of god we are going to be gathering together as eagles from april 19th all through to april 23rd the team of this year's program is planning to end well i always tell people proper preparation precede perfect performance if you must end well if you must finish well there is need for you to prepare and plan well this year ministry along with me is God's servant pastor destiny agedosa all the way from Benin city god is going to be using all and all the ministers of god that will be ministering in this program to unveil the mysteries of the kingdom of god i will unveil you all that you need in order to end well in the things of god i promise you it's going to be powerful it's going to be impactful it's going to be life changing i don't want you to miss it keep it a date with us like i said starting on wednesday 19th of april up through to sunday 23rd of april god bless you Begin to thank God. I begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to thank God.
for this short message. Pray, pray, pray. Say, Father, I thank you that the storm is over in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, I thank you that every storm is still. Storm of hunger. Storm of persecution. Form, oh Lord my God, of sickness in the name of Jesus. Storm of barrenness, storm of lack in the name of Jesus. Rakapo shata li bregedebo zendelegedebo. Rikapo sakata li bragadabosha in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Ah, brakapo sente for disgracing the wives of the enemies that they are unable to perform their evil enterprise in the name of Jesus. Oh, shakapon de bregedebosa. Rakaton de bregedebosa talaba. Thank you, oh Lord my God, for the manifestation of Congregation chapter 2 verse 15 in my life in the name of jesus thank you father for in jesus mighty much let's name we have prayed stretch forth your hands let's pray praise god father in the name of jesus i thank you lord for this program thank you lord for the life of your children thank you for what you have done thank you for making every storm oh lord my god to be calm in their lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you that that storm, oh Lord, that is terrifying them, that is giving them sleepless nights is over in the name of Jesus. Every storm, oh Lord, my God, that is disturbing your children, making them not to be achievers, wanting to swallow them and drown them up, oh Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Father, that that storm, oh Lord, my God, can never wake up again in Jesus' name. Thank you, oh Lord, my God, that this one will not be tormented by the troubles of life in the name of Jesus. I I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I pray for you. The Lord, even as he has come, the storm, it will make a way for you. Even in the wilderness, in the name of Jesus. That every lost glory is everything you have lost. Everything that the devil has stolen and taken away from you. God will restore. God will restore. God will restore. God will restore. In the name of Jesus. Is it in health area? The Lord will restore. Is it in finance area? The Lord will restore. Is it in lack area? The Lord will restore. Are you hungry? The Lord will give you some sufficiency in the name of jesus thank you father blessed be your holy name for in jesus mighty much less name we are prayed